we can't sit back and think that what happened in 2020 and then continue to unfold in 2021 and is still affecting people in 2022 and now 2023 an event of that magnitude, which involved almost the entire world, would not have prophetic significance? No, it did, and we missed it. The greatest truths are always found in retrospect. I've said this many times on my channel. So we're going to get into that. But in order to understand exactly what I'm talking about. We're going straight into the book of Revelation, straight to the chapter. Revelation chapter 6, verse 2. The first seal is broken. This is how it reads. I looked, and there before me was a white horse. Its rider held a bow, and he was given a crown, and he rode out as a conqueror bent on conquest. This is the new King James version, guys, and I don't like it. I don't like it because I study the interlinear version, especially the uh, Hebrew Greek key study Bible put out by Spiral Zodhides. Um, But it's okay. It conveys the message that we need, but we're going to go deeper because I'm going to give you a Greek transliteration. So in this passage, there are three key words separating the first horseman from all the others. This is the first seal broken. Remember, in my past presentations, I told you guys, the uh, the beginning of the apocalypse is an unveiling for those who will wake up. The rest are, are, are going to suffer the consequences of the seals. The seal, the events of the seals themselves will either wake you up or increase your sleep. By the seventh, by the breaking of the seventh seal, the great tribulation begins. When the great tribulation begins, all bets are off. You are who you are. I'm just going to let it be. Let it. But here is the three things that separate the first fo- the first horseman from all the other horsemen are the color white the bow no arrows just the bow and a crown there is no there's nothing else those are the three things that are the, the focus of the first horseman the color white the bow and the crown But this is a Greek text, so you need to hear how it sounds in English if we were reading it in Greek. Let me explain. This is how it would read. And I looked, and behold, a horse white, and the sitting on it, having a bow, and was given to him a crown. And he went forth overcoming, and that he might conquer. The Greek actually gives us more than the English translation that I read earlier. Let me explain. And I looked and behold a horse white and the sitting on it having a bow. There is no mention of a rider. And you'll understand when I get further into this presentation because it is an act of prophetic genius. We're going to get to it having a bow and was given to him a crown and he went forth overcoming and that he might conquer, not that he does conquer. The word bow, this is where it gets deep, guys. The word bow in Greek is toxin. T-O-X-O-N. Now the bow shoots arrows. Arrows in history were used to deliver poisons to victims. Now, I was informed only hours ago by somebody in the comment section. I can't remember who it was. I was vibrating. I'm going, I'm moving at hundred miles an hour. I want to thank you right now if you're in my chat, but you dropped a link to a video of Pastor Steve a year ago when he had the suspicion that the first seal had been broken with the whole pandemic deal. And I want to, I want to applaud Pastor Steve. He's absolutely right. But he spent an hour almost convincing himself that he was wrong. 
he got he's the one that that led led me to understand the Greek. That's what that's what got me to pull pull my Greek interlinear out. Now, uh, a year ago he, he released a video and then didn't follow up on it. He just left it alone after that. It's it crazy. There's not much else in that video, just that one point. But uh anyway, I was informed of this earlier today. So I want to give credit where credit is due. I always do that. You know, my bibliographies are extensive. So if pastor Steve listens to this video, uh, I credited you for, for that observation. It, it, it drew me into everything I found afterward. It's amazing. So pastor Steve already made the connection to toxins and the arrow of the first horseman. So now many of you know, Many of you know this, and we don't have to go into a whole whole lot because people have beat this fact up over and over. But crown in Greek is corona. No big deal. Other people have mentioned that a lot, a lot. But where we're going with this is a direction that you cannot foresee. It is amazing. Crown in Greek is corona. Although the term corona was first used in English in the 1500s, it actually derives from the Latin word for crown. So, the first four seals are actually four horsemen. Horses in ancient times were symbols for rapid delivery. And this rapid delivery comes in the form of of a, of someone wearing white. So let's go. I'm going to provide you the summary now. These are just the facts. These are just the Greek trans, translated facts. This and the and the meaning of these symbols. This one sentence, the of the first seal. There's a lot to unpack, but it's going to go a lot deeper than you think. So the summary of the first seal. Just taking just, just the imagery that we just read and putting it together, because you know I like to reduce everything to its lowest common denominators. A worldwide event, broken seal. Rapidly, horse, bow, arrows. Poisons victims, empowering crown. The poisoners represented in white. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say that again. A worldwide event rapidly poisons victims, empowering the poisoners. And we got this from Broken Seal, Horse, Bow, and Arrow, Crown, and the color white. 